in this video we're going to show you how wear can be detected on an excavator bucket using a 3D scan. This process involves taking a scan of the original bucket and then comparing it to a second scan of the bucket after it has been used and has shown wear. The advantages of this process are that you can digitally document and archive wear histories of various components, you can analyze wear trend patterns, you can perform predictive analysis on future wear and schedule timing for maintenance. You can also quantify the amount of repair needed versus relying on the subjectivity of inspectors. And you can even analyze trends in equipment repairs based on a set of equipment operators. So today we have two scan files. One uh, is of the original bucket and the other is of the bucket that has some wear. The original one here is shown in silver and the bucket with wear is shown in blue. So both these were scanned using the Artec Ray scanner, but this process is applicable to other scanners as well. So the first step is that we're going to take these two scans and we're going to align them together. We'll start by aligning the scans to each other using a surface best fit. This is the fastest way of alignment, but you can also do a datum-based alignment if you require more accuracy. Okay, now the scans have been aligned together. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to show a color map comparing the old bucket to the new bucket. Or sorry, the original to the worn. So what this does is it shows you using a color map where there's high and low spots. And so because this bucket is worn, then it's only gonna show spots that are or that have been taken away not um, not anything that's been added so any anything that's shown in orange and red here are areas that have seen wear so what we'll do is we'll filter this so that anything with greater than five millimeters of wear is shown in red so we'll just change our color scale There we go. So now any any area that uh, where there's more than five millimeters of wear is highlighted in red. So what we can do then is we can tag certain areas of this to create an inspection report. So we'll start by just take a couple of tags here. So it looks like that particular spot is 5.43 millimeters worn. We've got another one that's six 5.67. On the other side, there's a little bit more wear, seven millimeters in a couple of areas. And so we could take this and we could make a screenshot of that. Yeah, so now we'll rotate around to the inside of the bucket and take some tags on there. There we go. So um, now we can, like I mentioned before, we can add this to a report or we could potentially do further analysis um, based off of the areas that are highlighted. One thing that we can potentially do is create a cross-section um, to show you what the cross-sectional thickness would be in various areas. So we'll just go ahead and do that. So now that we have a cross-section through a wear area, we can take that cross-section and we could bring that into another software package such as SolidWorks or Inventor and we could measure the thicknesses, the total remaining thickness through the component such as in this case we had a couple of wear pads and yeah so that that essentially concludes this introductory video on how you can use a 3D scan to inspect for wear on a excavator bucket.